Maintaining your spark plugs and inspecting them is fairly straightforward. In any gasoline engine, because only those have spark plugs. In this short video, we will look at removal, inspection, installation, and a couple of maintenance issues. Removal first. The uh, spark plugs sit on the top of the engine typically whether it's a lawn mower or whatever and there is a cable leading to it as a spark plug is an electrical device without a spark plug there is no spark and without a spark there is no fire in the engine so your engines don't go anywhere the condition of the spark plug is uh, therefore fairly important and uh, inspecting a spark plug takes just minimal amount of time and they are fairly cheap to uh, to replace. Say so a spark plug is between five to ten dollars. Okay, for removal and uh, installation, you are gonna need this uh, special rent, uh, special socket. It's a spark plug socket. It says spark plug on it. It also says 18 millimeter because this is the one that matches the spark plug here. And on the inside of this spark plug lens you can see a, a black rubber cushion that uh, protects the spark plug and uh, on the end of the spark plug here you can see you can put a wrench on it too if you don't wanna use a, an extension bar like this one is a really long one on my <coughs> on my uh, ratchet so uh, removal is fairly straightforward as well and that's how they come apart and then you pull the spark plug out and that's what you have the parts of, parts of the spark plug quickly on top you have this threaded portion this is where electricity uh, comes into the spark plug and then you have this white part it's made of porcelain like a porcelain tile on your bathtub wall or bathroom wall this should be uh, free of cracks any kind of heat damage and pitting and chipping should not be on it usually uh, once it chips uh, there is also uh, dirt collecting in it so uh, it's fairly uh, easy to see anything with uh, dirt line on it since this is white further down you have this part which is uh, touching the engine and the engine is connected to the ground so the uh, power part is insulated away from the grounded part okay uh, and then further down you have this wobbly washer that I'll talk about in a sec more threads and uh, this is the uh, end of the spark plug here that is inside the engine actually only this little bit here from here down and uh, the uh, electrode that starts up top and is coming from your battery through cables uh, the, this electrode is insulated all the way down here and this is also insulation this brown piece and only the end of the electrode is exposed and then there is a gap between the end of the electrode and the curved part here that leads to the threads and the threads touch the engine and the engine is grounded so uh, there's your spark plug gap you should check the spark plug gap and the spark plugs are new after that don't worry about it because they don't change and the spark plug gap is specified by the manufacturer and you can have uh, little spark plug gapping tools fairly inexpensive and uh, and just uh, insert the uh, proper spark plug gap there and just set the gap like so um, <coughs> so uh, and, and all this thread should be in fairly good condition and uh, this uh, piece of spark plug was not cross threaded into the engine that's good news this is how a good spark plug should look like on inspection there's a little bit of oil between the threads visible that's good and uh, like I said this part of the spark plug is inside the engine so there's a little bit of soot on it and uh, this insulation part should appear to be brown like it is 
and other than that the electrodes are nice and clean with just minimal amount of soot or any kind of deposits from uh, from combustion in, inside the engine just like that okay so this is uh, nice and healthy and passes inspection now for installation it's very important that uh, you take a look at this little wobbly washer it doesn't quite come apart from uh, from the spark plug but it's important this is a compression washer and on a new spark plug it's a little fatter than this and as it as the spark plug is being installed in the engine this compression washer is compressed a little bit and uh, as it is soft and uh, deformable it uh, gets shaped exactly to the opening of the uh, opening of the spark plug hole in the engine where the spark plug is supposed to go so when you uh, install a spark plug you make uh, you spin the spark plug, in, spark plug in and you make it finger tight and then you turn the wrench no more than one eighth of a turn I'll demonstrate in a sec uh, one more thing you might wanna you might think that oh uh, a different spark plug with uh, with uh, maybe a different heat value a hotter spark plug or a colder spark plug would work better in my engine uh, usually they don't uh, what happens is that uh, hotter spark plugs could uh, burn a hole through your piston and colder spark plugs will uh, cause inadequate and incomplete combustion in the engine so from colder spark plugs you're gonna have uh, more soot and deposits on the spark plug how do you know that you have the right spark plug the spark plug here has all kinds of numbers on it you just have to use the one that's specified for your engine fairly straightforward sometimes manufacturers uh, provide uh, a little uh, leeway there uh, that uh, you can uh, change your spark plugs a little bit hotter or a little bit colder without uh, seriously affecting engine performance one more thing you have to make sure that this threaded portion is not longer than uh, it is specified on the engine I will install this spark plug and we'll uh, look at this issue you have to uh, hand start a spark plug and make sure it's not cross threading and uh, usually I spin it in as long as I can with my hands and since the compression washer on it has been compressed once already on it another eighth of a turn will just compress it even further compromising the actual seal between the spark plug and the engine so I will be really really careful on uh, on uh, reinstalling a once used spark plug so once it's in like so I only tighten it that much very very gently there we go now I'm gonna flip this engine upside down and you're gonna need to come up a little higher just a little bit and there's our spark plug there we go this is our spark plug that we just installed and like I said in the engine only only the end of the spark plug is showing inside the engine here and uh, so only the end of the spark plug gets sooty now if this spark plug is any longer than this then it's gonna interfere with the uh, with the normal operation of the engine because the uh, next component is the piston which is uh, uh, getting closer to the valves and further away in normal operation and uh, if this spark plug is really any longer the piston top is gonna hit it this one is a dished out surface and the piston top has a slight curvature there is really no extra wiggle room 
for this spark plug to be any longer so that's why the length is important so that pretty much concludes uh, inspection installation and a uh, couple of these maintenance issues that I had in mind do a little bit of work outside on your engines it's worth the effort and discovery